welcome back. And this is week three in Power Electronics. This is the final video segment for week three. And today we're going to talk about MOSFET gate drivers. So stick around. Um, we're going to go over uh, a very popular gate driver topology called the uh, totem pole circuit. And it, you'll find that circuit topology in most uh, gate drivers that we buy, even in the integrated chip form. So stick around and let's uh, go to our overview. So in this video, we're going to talk about a circuit that's going to provide the ability to remove and provide charge very quickly. So we have to provide charge for the turn on and remove it for the turn off. In the last video segment, we saw that it was the total charge that really dictated how quickly we could turn a MOSFET on and off. And specifically, the controlling uh, parameter was the the gate to drain capacitance where we had what was called the Miller plateau and it stretched out that, that turn on time for the, the device. Then I'm gonna show you a quick, uh, uh, we'll go over a quick overview of a simple circuit called the emitter follower. You've probably designed this circuit in your circuits class before. It's a current gain amplifier. It has a voltage gain of slightly less than one, but it is used to provide a, 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 a current gain to drive that MOSFET on and off. And using that emitter follower circuit, we create what's called a totem pole circuit. It's basically taking two emitter follower amplifiers and stacking them up in a push-pull configuration. Let's take a look at the emitter follower amplifier. In the emitter follower amplifier, our output voltage is taken at the emitter. And in this example, we're using an NPN BJT. We have a load resistance in the emitter. It's biased through a collector resistance and a collector voltage VCC. And if this is in the active region, we have approximately one diode drop, which I'll call VBE. So our input and our output are taken there. From here, you can see that the output voltage related to the input voltage is equal to the equation VI is equal to VO plus VBE. And therefore, we can derive the, the voltage gain relationship V out over VI is equal to VO over VO plus VBE, which is also equal to 1 over 1 plus VBE divided by VO. This voltage gain is approximately equal to 1. In fact, the input voltage is always going to be about 0.7 volts higher than the output. The advantage of the emitter follower, however, is for small amounts of current into the base, we obtain large current swings through the collector. So it is often thought of as a current gain amplifier. Now we can use that fact to our advantage to drive MOSFET circuits. And here I have the beginning of a schematic, what's called a totem pole gate driver. The totem pole consists of an NPN in the top and a PNP transistor in the bottom. We bias the, the totem pole with a voltage VCC and we connect the joint emitters. If you notice that NPN and the PNP have their emitters connected together to the gate of our MOSFET. And let me finish our MOSFET circuit here and we'll tie the source to common and we'll put a load resistor up in the drain. So this would be looking like a DC chopper type of, of MOSFET circuit. We then create a control voltage on the 
Space pins. When VC goes high, relative to our potential, it will turn the top NPN transistor on. And if it's high enough and our base current is large enough, it will push it into saturation and we will get something slightly greater than a diode drop between the base and the emitter on that top NPN transistor circuit. So for example, if we want to drive this MOSFET with a gate to source voltage of near 10 volts, we could put a plus 10 volt control signal onto the base of this totem pole. And we will then get about 9.3. Usually that is enough to turn the MOSFET on. And what will happen as this turns on, we will push, the top transistor will push current into the gate. Recall from the previous video, MOSFETs, while they are voltage driven, it's really how quickly we can get charge in and out of the MOSFET to turn it on and off. Time rate change of charge is current. So it's about driving current quickly. Now when the control voltage goes down, back to zero, this MOSFET will turn off, but this voltage will still be high at say about 10 volts. This now goes to zero. We will now bias the lower PNP transistor on, which will pull current out from the gate. So sometimes the totem pole is called a push-pull amplifier as well. It pushes current into the gate to turn it on, and it pulls current out of the gate to turn it off. And it does not require much current from the control source to turn it on and off. And that's a MOS, that is a, a BJT style of totem pole. There's also a MOSFET style gate driver, very similar. I'm gonna put VCC up here. I'm going to connect the drains together. And if you notice, we have a P channel at the top, an N channel at the bottom. Those are typically small MOSFETs. Our power MOSFET's going to go right here. Again, I'm going to do a simple chopper circuit. And we put, put our control voltage there. And in, in applications, if you are going to build your own totem pole driver, typically you would not use MOSFETs to do it. You would use BJTs. And that is due to the shoot through that you can get when you're trying to turn these on and off simultaneously. However, there are devices called gate drivers and more often than not, in the gate driver, you will see MOSFET circuitry doing the push-pull configuration. Let's look at one example of a gate driver. Let's take a look at segments from data sheets, two different gate driver circuits. First one I wanna look at, gate driver from Linear, and you can find this macro model of this in LT Spice. And, and use it for your, your project. This is the LTC4446, the high side and low side gate driver. A little, it's interesting in its totem pole configuration internal to the circuit. Here you can see a small section of the internal block diagram. And you'll notice the totem pole configuration right here. On the top of the totem is an NPN BJT. And on the bottom, is an N-channel MOSFET. So this is a hybrid type configuration internal to this IC. And it is used to drive the, the power MOSFET. You can see here on this diagram, they have shown the gate to source capacitance as well as filler capacitance, which is the gate to drain. Ability to push current onto this device and pull current back off the device quickly will enable you to turn this on and off. Um, one of the ratings when you look at gate drivers, it typically want to look to 
what their current rate are for driving the MOSFETs. Um, this one says it has a 2.5 2.5 peak to gate pull up current and 3 amp peak bottom gate pull up. So you've a little bit different on the, the top gates and bottom gate drivers, but uh, fairly high. The next circuit from on semi or the next IC is from on semi. And this, this one's also interesting that you can see the totem configuration here where we have the NPN at the top of the totem. This one also has an NPN, not a PN. But what's interesting on this one that it has in parallel with it, the MOSFET total driving on. So we would put our drive up on top here, input and output would go over here. And typically this one would be designed to also drive at a higher level, just say logic. They oftentimes in the integrated circuits will put in additional logic, such as this one has hysteresis into it, also has some clocking, either to provide blanking pulses to keep the boost capacitor charged up, or it provides circuitry with a little bit of delay such that we don't turn these on at the same time and get internal to the device, as well as when we have a high low driver, there'll be a break before make circuitry. And so we cannot turn high side of the power MOSFET on time is the low. So those are just some examples of IC. Let's recap this video in the key points. First, we went in here wanting to be able to come up with a circuit that could remove charge quickly and provide charge quickly into the gate of the MOSFET. And it's those charge requirements that drive how, how fat. Now let's look at the key points. In this video, we talked about the totem pole circuit, and it's a push-pull circuit that's based on the emitter follow amplifier. That circuit provides the ability to quickly provide charge to the gate of a MOSFET and remove charge from the gate of the MOSFET. And recall from the previous video, it's how quickly we can charge that, that MOSFET up, specifically the gate to drain capacitance that determines how quickly we can turn that MOSFET on. We looked at a couple of different totem pole configurations. The first one we looked at was a BJT based with an uh, NPN in the top of the totem pole and a PNP in the bottom. We also looked at a MOSFET configuration that had the P channel in the top as a high side switch and an N channel in the bottom. And finally, I provided a data sheet to you to look at and possibly use in your designs. And that, create, that was a hybrid totem that had an NPN in the top of the totem and an N channel in the bottom. And oftentimes you're going to want to use a package dr gate driver instead of building your own because that gate driver is going to have additional logic circuitry to, to help with things like uh, break before make so you don't have shoot through in your uh, H bridge or half bridge power MOSFETs. Hope you learned a little something about uh, the totem pole circuit and driving MOSFETs. There are uh, numerous gate drivers out there uh, to utilize for all different types of applications. And um, it's pretty exciting stuff and you can get lost in just figuring out what to put into your design. Thanks for watching.